Hi, I'm Julie Hanks, LCSW. The question for today is from a 23-year-old female in the military, and she writes, I recently was raped while on duty. I haven't been handling it well. It brought up a lot of childhood stuff. I started seeing a psychologist, but I'm having a really difficult time opening up. She's nice and I like her, but I don't want to tell her too much. Hurt my career and depend on her to keep my confidences when she can't. I don't know how to tell her about the purging or even if I should. She's asked about cutting and I don't know what to say. I've been diagnosed with PTSD, but I don't want to tell her that when I have nightmares, that I have nightmares when I wake up, I can still see them and feel what was happening in the dream. How do you open up and not come off as crazy? Please help me, I could really use this guidance. Oh, what a difficult situation. I'm so sorry uh, for your trauma. First of all, it's just really, it's difficult to even read. Um, I am not sure what the policies are when you're seeing a psychologist in the military, if they have to report to your superior how you're doing. Um, but I think it's really going to be important for you to uh, talk to your therapist about how scared you are to open up and really clarify what things she has to report um, and what things are actually confidential that she doesn't have to report. So I would clarify that so you know um, how much you want to share. Because I really do hear your dilemma of you want to get help, but you also want to protect yourself and, and your military career. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. But again, talk to your therapist, ask those questions. So, you know, what is confidential? What do you have to report? And when you've been through uh, trauma, and it sounds like you had some trauma in your childhood too, um, having PTSD symptoms, nightmares, um, eating disorder, those are actually normal responses to trauma. So it doesn't mean you're crazy. It means you're, you're trying to figure out how to deal with some really difficult things, and those are normal responses given the, the trauma that you've experienced. <clears throat> so your symptoms don't mean you're crazy, and uh, I think your psychologist understands that as well. So best uh, of luck to you. Hang in there with your therapy, and you know, try to move, move through this. Again, I'm really sorry that you're having to deal with this in the first place. I'm Julie Hanks. LCSW, you can find out more about me at juliehanks.com.